Welcome to Strength and Gaming. I'm Samson Lancaster, and today I am joined with Salvador Madrigal. You grab my ass. Yes, I did. And Eddie the Machete Vetterly. Hola. I don't think we have... You're the only one that has a hunt nickname. We're the Trace Amigos, yes. And we need to make a comeback on Twitch at some point, but I haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> but the Trace Amigos have rode, ridden, rot again. Uh, and we have played a decent amount of Hunt Showdown 1896. And Hunt Showdown 1896 is the latest... Um, I guess it's a DLC, right? Like, or release. It's more than a DLC because it's a, like an upgrade. I think it's an upgrade it and and a DLC, right? Because they upgraded mm -hmm. the engine, an um, overhaul, an overhaul. <laughs> they overhauled the UI. They did a lot of changes. But, They're forcing everybody to play on the map right now. But we'll talk about that um, after the news. But that's what this episode is going to be about: Hunt Showdown 1896. But yeah. I, we Sal and I don't have. I mean, I can call you Six Gun Sal, but that's not like an official nickname that we like got, gave you. But Eddie is definitely the machete. I think you could call it a quality of life DLC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quality, quality kind of, of life. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of for those listening that that aren't watching us on YouTube. First of all, fucking watch us on YouTube. Secondly, you can, you can, you can hear the air quotes. quotes. You can hear <laughs> them. Hear them. Oh, you can hear them. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, Sal, do you want to get started with some news? Oh, let's see. what are we, Oh, Borderlands. It's doing great in the box office. Fucking smashing records. Hey, man. It <laughs> went up 3% in Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, yeah? From it, well, zero. It's, it, it's sitting at... <laughs> it debuted at fucking zero. Zero. Dude, with the reviews that were at zero. I think it uh, was uh, one person gave it like a, a mixed review, and they counted that as a good review, so it went up 3%. <laughs> It's so like it, dude, they're reaching, dude. That's that's a fucking I, like a I want, I want to I reach. desperately want to watch it, excuse me, watch it and review it on here. Oh, it'll be it'll be it'll on be streaming. Out. It'll be on streaming in like a, fucking, it a game. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, do that. Yeah. We'll stream it. I you know what we should have a we should have a watch party. It's what we should do, actually. <laughs> we should have a watch party. We could do we can, you can do that remotely on on um uh Twitch, not Twitch, not uh, Twitch, the other thing. Discord. Discord. We could do we could do a, a watch party on Discord. We could all watch the Borderlands movie, whoever's on there, and then we can make notes and comments and so we'll be pausing it every we'll fucking die. thirty minutes though, because Sam's like, I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee. No, I'm, I'm, I'll just go pee. Pause it's not, I'm gonna movie. miss anything. <laughs> you miss the, just pee in a you jar. The plot twists. You don't know. I, you don't know how many times I've peed in a jar on the show. So, dude, I piss myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, going to go in a jar. Yeah, I'm, I'm just wearing diapers. No, I yeah, have a yeah. bladder imp. It's like when I, whenever I just hold still and my eyes kind of like. But mm. so real quick, it is bombing. Obviously, <laughs> we all knew it was bombing. Yeah, yeah you know, it, you, just, you just go, you go. It did, but, uh. like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> While you're in the middle of a speech. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. It I was, uh, I was miles away. Um, but so in, in talking about Borderlands, really quick, the Borderlands movie that is that we're talking about. Zero started zero percent. Rotten Tomatoes went to three percent, and, and then, uh, uh, I think it, Charlie it, it settled. It settled at a mighty nine percent. It's at nine. Wow, it's crazy. Solid. Uh, Charlie gave it a review, and it it sounds worse than I even predicted. Charlie was mad, dude. He was fucking I, human. Yeah. Well, I I feel like you know, shame on me, shame on you, whatever it is. Like, because like uh, we all know it's gonna be terrible. Why would you be mad? Like, you, right. how did you mm -hmm. at any point think it was going to be good? So that's on him. <laughs> shame on him. Yeah, but and then, um, uh, shame on them for trying to fucking shame on Eli Roth, man. Fuck that guy. Dude, he got he got the fucking stink of that shit attached to him now, too, though. So yeah. Like, like I, I'm sure I, he got some STDs from that shit. He's not going he to recover he, from that. I mean, I, I used to. It's an like, I yeah. used to like him as a director, but it's now enough. like that's no well he like he fucking left like early on right like halfway through he he fucking bounced he, he bounced, said oh, yeah. fuck that it's too late dude he got the herpes oh he, got... he he stopped directing at a certain yeah, point yeah i, and I then didn't they know that they reshot it i forgot who uh who was it the guy from over. deadpool uh was it no i don't think so the guy from deadpool um, would have been made a little 
but we'll, we'll, nah, once, once we'll, shit, shit, we'll dude, you can't talk fix more it. about that uh in a future episode but mm-hmm. i mean we weren't no no one's surprised here it's it's terrible and i'm i'm only surprised that it sounds worse than i thought it was going to be because i thought at least it would be like you know like a jungle cruise or or whatever movie where the rock you know is in the jungle and, and uh, nope it was the mario there. brothers yeah it's it's, it's even worse <laughs> than the mario brothers because that was actually turned into a cult classic i don't think this will turn into a cult classic no, it's not um Cause was it the, the take two interactive ceo was like yeah it's not going to affect us with our bottom line because it's a separate it's its own thing and like but it, <laughs> it is though because with the with all the other Dude, movies the games already shows that, after two they started sucking after yeah. borderlands 2 they became terrible but even even with like um with the witcher the witcher ticked up massively the the other games the other two games that nobody really played right most people played The Witcher Three, and that—that's where their entry came. Yeah, in. I played the first one, but I didn't play the second one. I mm-hmm. haven't played all of them. Um, and uh, with Fallout, Fallout upticked all the play on, across the board. Even even that piece of shit seventy six got like massive amounts of people playing it. Yeah, and 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 I, from what I hear, they did some improving to it. So. But, I played it and it, it still no, felt it's, fucking for, for, uh, it was for gross. stuff like for people like us like veteran gamers of games like Fall, of Fallout games we're, we're no 76 we don't talk about 76 but for new players that have never played a Fallout game before it it you know it's a, it's a you know your 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 standard shitty cookie cutter MMO mm-hmm. uh that's also an FPS so you know you might but, you might like that but I think it instead of them getting a, a a windfall from that shit and get getting more people to buy the Borderlands games and play them it, it it upticked a little bit, but not as not as massively as all the other shows like The Last of Us. They outsold fucking two, got fucking really really popular and sold a lot. Borderlands yeah. three is ninety percent off right now. It not sucks. It. I didn't. I got not it for it. free and I played it for a couple. Of, I couldn't get through it, dude. I couldn't even beat the game. I was so fucking bored. That, so mm. correct. So there's 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 only one, two, and three, and then there's a couple of other like in betweeners, right? There's, there's between, no four yet. Yeah. Yeah. The Telltale well, games, the Telltale the... games, um, yeah, and but the that's Tiny what I mean. Tina ones. Of the main ones, there's only there's only three main ones: mm-hmm. Borderlands one, two, and three. Okay, yeah, two had two had the Tiny Tina t- t- Assault on Dragons Keep was like the best fucking mm-hmm. thing ever. That being said, I think Heather and I played three for like a few like ten levels or something. And it was just terrible. I think the thing that I hated the most was it started off like a fantasy setting. And I was like, oh, it's going to be like Tiny Tina's Dragon, Assault on Dragon's Keep. No, the crossbow is just an SMG. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just (laughs) fucking stupid. I was like, this is dumb. Anyway, fuck um, Borderlands. Fuck Randy Pitchford. Fuck Eli Roth. Oh, dude. The other guy. Whoever it was. Eli 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 Roth has Borderlands herpes now. Yeah, he deserves it. Uh, it was Tim Miller who did the reshoots. He well, did the first, Tim Miller. the first Deadpool. Oh, wasn't fuck able Tim to Miller save too. that fucking thing. Yeah, no, you can't no. save those movies. No, dude. after oh, so I'm wondering though, then so if, if Eli Tim Roth pieced out halfway through, I'm wondering if uh, if it really was Eli Roth's fault. Like, I wonder who, whose fault it was that it's so bad. Like, I'm now I want to know, I want to do some research on that. For later. Well, I don't think it Eli might... Roth had any input on the on the. The script and shit. Yeah, Possibly. that's what I, mean. I want to know who did it. Like, who who's responsible for that bullshit? It might be the studios, also, yeah. kind of like what happened with the Fantastic Four remake. Mm-hmm. Um, what's Anyways, his fucking, what's his name? Yeah, that somebody directed? somebody mm-hmm. wanted a giant spider that fucked up. The fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, is there any? You had another piece of news, right? Oh yeah, Randy Pitchford started losing his shit. He took it personally that nobody fucking liked the movie, dude. Uh, How I forgot. There did was he a... play any of his fucking games, dude? Well, like, here's the it, thing: isn't um, that guy a fucking psycho, anyways? Yeah, he's a. Uh, he had some fucking weird shit on his on his thumb drive. Some weird porn on the thumb drive. Yeah, uh, what was it? Medieval times or something like that. <laughs> he had Medi- some weird porn on there. Medieval porn. But medieval, um, dude, that game was amazing. He he took it personally dude like uh, i think it was paul tassie he's a, he's a video game reporter that that said because I, it, it, even if he's not the one responsible for it but he thought it was good fuck him 
So anyways, he uh he took it personally. Paul Tassi, who's a, a video game reporter, uh, reported on it and said that it wasn't great. And that he played like, I think it says somewhere around 800 hours of Borderlands and all other shit. Sounds about right. And he said, I really love the games and this was nothing like the games. And then Randy Pitchford said that he was obsessed with these games. I was like, he's a video game reporter, dude. Of course he's going to play your games. And he complimented him saying that he loved the fucking games. But yeah, this the was first two it. were amazing. And he started calling him a dick and then he blocked them. He started blocking so many people on fucking yeah. Twitter and shit. So and he said he's a psycho. He went fucking ape shit. <laughs> yeah. and, and then people started fucking flaming him, dude. It's just, he, he was fucking just going nuts, dude, and just attacking people and shit. Did you even watch it? Did you even Some watch kind it? of midlife crisis. We don't have to watch uh, it. We're going to. We're going to. But we don't have to. The video game industry. Uh, that's some stank. You don't want that on you. Yeah. It was, it, was a, it, was, it was sad, dude. It was sad him trying to like attack people and, and call them out. It's like, dude, you're fucking stupid. Go away. Just get off X, dude. You're dumb. I wonder, did he produce it's called it Twitter. Did he... No one calls it X. Let's see. Except Elon Musk. <laughs> so, and then that's oh. pretty much all that's been like going on lately. There's a big layoff set. Activision and um, everywhere else. Blizzard. Mm -hmm. it's, it, I feel that the next video game crash is going to come pretty soon for all these. Uh, the only ones that are really kind of sort of holding on are like the indie companies, the smaller, more lean ones. Mm -hmm. But the big companies are going to take a shit pretty soon. And it sucks for all the people that are employed by them. I mean, like they, if, the it, if it does, whoever's if it does happen they the people the developers need to get unionized they have to get unionized and, and uh upper deck their desks before they leave yeah upper deck. just leave an upper decker in their a toilets of stevie's, <laughs> stevie upper deckers <laughs> it's it's, it's everything in the ceo's uh desk drawer <laughs> yeah everything's starting to look feel bleak as well out there right a lot of the games are coming out really fucking broken. Um, Speaking of broken, a, a lot of segue. <laughs> a lot of a lot of studios that are actually doing well and are selling well are actually fucking just shutting down. Uh, yeah. the, the people who made Hi-Fi Rush, their yeah. their game sold extremely well, and Xbox still closed them down. I mean, eventually they got bought out by. <laughs> Oh, another company. I need a the... tumbleweed to go across the screen right now while you're talking. That's how <laughs> bleak it is. And a skull. Yeah. Like a, in a desert a cow skull or something. Well, you know from from uh adversity adversity comes from difficulty, right? So maybe these people are they get laid ah, off yes. will be able to make Hard something out of it. Make soft men and soft men make soft times or hard times that make soft men and men hard yeah. you can make a, a soft man hard if you, if, yes. you, if you do it hard enough right <laughs> <laughs> well man it's that's pretty much it for the fucking news dude there's like other little small things but it's mainly yeah, it's mainly yeah mainly randy pitchford losing his shit <laughs> not 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 his porn drive this time but oh, <laughs> just his shit it was like I was I was looking I was going through the the Twitter and I was like wow this guy's fucking losing his shit he took it personally I was like they're not attacking you they literally attacking the movie yeah I know I don't understand that like I I and and the and the fact that he takes it personally like because I would have distanced myself from that shit I'd be like this is garbage why'd you yeah, do that well, thing is though he's not he's not he's not in um in Gearbox anymore so it, it has nothing to do with them anymore. Oh, that's even better. Nothing to do with them, but he fucking took it personally. And then, then they showed a trailer where um, one of the grips or one of the stage people pulled up the the um, what's it, the sewer the sewer cover, and manhole. you could see, and you could yeah the manhole, and you could see him through the fucking cracks of the manhole pulling it up, <laughs> and he tried to play it off. Oh, that was brick, but they cut him out of the movie. I was like, Shut up, fuck <laughs> brick, you fucking lying piece of shit. <laughs> Jesus, there, there was um, 
there was other mistakes in the in the in the movie what did angry joe say something about there was a boon mic or something in one of the boon shots mic. nice and just then, like, uh, the cgi looked does it come down horrible. and, 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 and get bonk somebody ah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's fucking, uh, it like, what's his name? Um, Mark, Markiplier. The way they, mm-hmm. where they just, the, the boom mic comes out and, and like goes <laughs> down his throat. <laughs> that would have made the, the movie better, actually. Some like hilarity like that, but let's move on to Borderlands. That's, that's all I got to say about that. So, Hunt <laughs> Showdown 1896. Uh, that's the latest and. I don't know about the word greatest, but um, but why don't we start with we've each played. I don't know the between the three of uh, well the three of us played like six or seven matches I think total, not yeah. a lot. Um, I played maybe like six or seven more solo before that, maybe more than that, maybe a dozen. Um, just to give you an idea, and we did it right right after it came out, and it came out. Uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, you might not be hearing this at the same time, but it came out yesterday morning for us. So this is kind of our first impressions as well. Excuse me, but um, let's start with let's start with one good. Let's start with a good thing. The thing, the thing that I think that that we can all agree we liked, and that was the the new boss is kind of neat. It is. Yeah, be. well, it's a boss. Yeah, and it's not really a boss. It's like it's, it's just weaker a, than the gator. It's like a, oh, way weaker than. It's, it's basically like a, it's basically if you double uh, one of those um, armored guys' health pool and just make him a smoker. That's that's the yeah how strong it is. Yeah, it, it's like a it's like a um, like you said um, an em- em- emulator on steroids that can like chuck fire or like rush you and explode. Which is um, kind of cool. It's cool to have like little mini bosses like that. There, there should like, be a lot. Like a I would fire. love a lot more. A lot he's more. Like of a that fire shirt. elemental. Yeah, yeah, he was, like yeah, he was like a fire elemental. Yep. Yeah. I wish they had more, more, more shit like that. Where it's like just have Bigger a series, enemies. series of eight enemies that rotate in maps, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would have be a single, single bounty enemies. Like yeah, that. and just rotate them, right? Just randomly, whatever appears. In the, on the map appears they needed they need to drop the gator's health to the same level as that guy yeah. so that they can be like more mini mini boss or like legendary yeah uh, just enemies. give somebody who's not fucking uh levels five star or higher sweat playing as a level one star yeah some a fucking chance of doing something in the game instead of just getting <laughs> killed immediately yeah it yeah because like i um we we play around three three to four stars, and um, <laughs> before the update, fun fact: there was nobody playing the game, so I was playing five and six star lobbies. That was dumb. I still got kills, but that was dumb, mm-hmm. dude. And it didn't <laughs> math didn't make sense. But anyways, um, I think that's all the good stuff we have to say about. <laughs> well, the map, down. the map, the map is awesome. No. The map, really, the map really is like, pretty cool. I really I like, like the, the mines looks. and shit. I like the mines. It has it its is, good, play, good parts and bad parts. It feels, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, it takes some getting used to because it's way different. There's so many different levels, right? Yeah, the compounds are way too stuff. fucking the comp- big. The compounds are massive. Uh, and so the map feels massive. I don't know if it's the same size as the other ones. It might be. Um, but the, the compounds themselves, they feel larger because... You know, even if they're taking up the same amount of space as another compound, they it's all uh, vertical. They go it's all vertical, vertical yeah. and they go down too. Like so, like you can get like three levels or more, like on a compound, um, on every compound. Where like is if you're on one of the you know the Delta or um, whatever the other maps are called. I don't remember the names off the top of my head, but uh, there's only like one or two compounds that have like small underground and some mm-hmm. that have like multiple levels. Yeah, this one it's. Fucking each one, each small compound could be its own fucking map. It's so fucking big, dude. It's like, Jesus. <laughs> you know, there's so many trees when you're trying to shoot somebody. Oh, yeah, the, the, the tree, 
the tree line and the, the verticality of all the mountains and, and valleys and that shit makes it very fucking difficult, especially if you're playing a uh, a night map. The night maps are mm-hmm. fucking yeah, I, I can't, horrendous. Like, so when I when I played when I played the solo, that was my worst experience. I started on the night map version of the new uh Memon's Gulch. Um and I, I just it was terrible like it felt it felt but i was also i i didn't know the map yet you know and i didn't like once you start getting used to it it's a little bit better and i definitely like it more with teams solo play is painful on that map i think it's kind of it's just it's too much work um because you i you, you can't just engage people as a solo when you're playing up against duos or, or even trios you can't just go ham you'll just get killed right but when there's three of us I can go ham and you guys can support me while I'm going ham. <laughs> and then if I die, maybe you get me back up. <laughs> yeah, there's but, there's there's too many avenues in this one of of escape. Mm-hmm. Like you can just run into the mines and then there's lower levels of the mines on top of that. So you can you can pretty much disappear damn near instantly if you yeah, have to. Yeah, well, it's like speaking of speaking of that, we had that showdown in the mines. Um, I killed two dudes with the bow, and then that that one guy uh, you know, killed one of us, and then Eddie killed him, or you killed him, or something like that. Well, um, and then we got you at, right when we got you back up. Another team came in, and we started fighting with them. I don't even remember who killed who, but eventually you guys went down, and I had no fucking ammo, and I couldn't pick up any arrows from any of the bodies because they wouldn't come out. <laughs> and I was just running all over the mine, trying to get away from these assholes. And I, I, I felt like a, was it a trio? Because I only heard two people talking, I think. Um, it could have still been a trio, but I managed to, with one shotgun shell left, get out of the mine and hide behind a rock. And I could hear them talking. They're like, he went outside, he went outside. Shit, I think he went that way. And then they just kind of <laughs> like, I waited and then I, I, I was able to get away, go reload come back and get you guys up and then, and then as we were leaving some asshole starts shooting at us with a silence weapon we almost didn't make it because yeah, if he there's... hit one of you guys he was shooting at me mostly thankfully because if he hit me i could survive unless it was a headshot um but yeah it, there's so it's the map feels massive and there's a lot of cover um like i think sal said it silence weapons yes yep like where was the guy shooting I was just, this? I was using <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I know fucking. Is he hiding in the tree? Is he hiding in that building? Is he hiding in all those fucking Is he fucking hiding brush? in the corn? Is he, <laughs> like, what is it? There was so many places where a silenced weapon could just dominate in this shit. There's like on the other maps, yeah, on the, the bio maps, the you can, in the bio maps, you can, you can pretty much like, oh, he's probably shooting from that angle. Mm-hmm. And this one, there's there's no fucking way of knowing where they're shooting you unless you see them. Because it's more 360. Yep. Like, it's not like, well, he's either in that building over there or in the tree line back that way. But in this, it's like, he's either in that building over there, up on top of that mountain, behind the tree line over there, in that bush. Like, you have no idea. And then by the time you figure it out, they've already moved. Yeah, they've already gone or they killed you. <laughs> or you're dead. Or you're dead. But th- a good example of that was not today, but yesterday with that solo that we fought at the exit. Oh we yeah, the bounty. that was so fucking annoying, dude. Because there was it was a solo, but we could have hit him. Like he was just all over the place, and you couldn't see where he was. Sal would just keep saying he's here, and then I'd be like, "No, he's not." <laughs> <laughs> well, plus, plus the the game wasn't running so great, and it's still not. It's yeah. still not. Felt a, we a little bit better today than yesterday. It feels the, like it's still in beta. Yesterday, especially, man, I, oh, yeah. I had what twenty two thousand. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did it say? I don't remember. I, what it's I think called. I took a. I think I, I took a shot I took, I where I was like a hundred and eleven thousand. Yeah. Something. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have FPS sixty, and latency twenty two thousand sixty six, <laughs> and then all the warnings, the the connection, the disc error, the everything, all the warnings going off at once. And during that game, we had. I was like, we have to leave. We can't play this because it yeah, was. We were literally just. It was bouncing really around bad. like like i couldn't like it felt like it was in a pinball machine just trying to like loot a, a cash register or whatever yeah, you know? we were playing on west coast servers and like yeah. supposedly i mean i i didn't pay close attention to that but probably i, I it doesn't there doesn't seem to be a backup server anymore 
and you choose you only can choose one server now and it's when you first start back uh i haven't looked into how you change it after that but we picked we were playing a us west and all the other games uh that one was t like i said unplayable we barely made it out of the map yeah but it's still it's still very unoptimized like i'm running a 3050 which is not a great video card it's like very entry level it's a 20 20 a 2060 with duct tape yeah, 2060 with duct tape. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Um, they duct taped on another heat sink. And, the fucking and uh, slapped on it a single gig extra RAM. Yeah, they they put a kind of heat sink. It's probably like some uh, bubble gum wrapper foil <laughs> as a heat sink. But um, my FPS was wildly fluctuating. It was going from like 35 to like 70, and then back down, and it was all over the place. It's, it was inconsistent. Weird no fucking time and you said before there was a way to uh, yeah well, well before set i it to I, consistent or i set it to 60 fps that was the highest fps it could go it could go down which every once in a while it would it would go to like 55 40. but this time it was going from 30 all the way to like 110 i think i got at some point and then it is back and forth dude Especially when when you engage and you get like a twenty five FPS, it's yeah, you, you can't. There's, no, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do, and there's yeah. no way of limiting uh, your frame rate anymore. You just gotta suck that it up. That we noticed, and, yeah. And, and but what's strange is like mine was running consistently at sixty, at least according to the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like it always said sixty. It didn't go above or below. Um. I don't know if Eddie was even paying attention to that on his game. Well, I don't think so. Yeah, you got to turn it on. I remember how I turned it on. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it, it's weird that it's that it's going not not just dipping, but also going above. Like yeah, it made above. it. It made it. It made it <laughs> difficult to shoot shit. I was like, why can't I fucking shoot him? <laughs> And then Eddie was fucking going off, killing everybody, and yeah. sniping the I shit out of everybody. It's like, <laughs> oh, I got another one, dude. <laughs> that, oh, it's Goro, it's one. Gor, uh, Oro Gordo, um, mine, dude. That that is like impenetrable, ridiculous, fucking. It's got like a up against a giant cliff. It's like built into the cliff. That's a crazy, like sniper's wet dream. Yeah, like if if we were more prepared, I would have. Uh, I had yeah. fucking concertina mines and all that shit with me. I should have been putting them in the fucking. Yeah, but you don't know <laughs> where the anything mines. is or where any yeah, entrances like... are. We didn't know that. Like we had, we we still don't know the maps much. We know a little bit better now, but yeah. But that's the best best way of defending something is drop a bunch of bunch of uh, traps in the mines because that's where everybody's gonna try to come in. Oh, hardly I hardly ever saw anybody trying to go straight in and try to get us it's mainly through the mines where we ended up dying like i think yeah. most of the deaths that we got was through the mines we also yeah, yeah. killed a lot in the mines too yeah we killed so, we an entire team in, in the mines i think that's a good strategy is like hey we this is where the boss is if we get the boss concertina the shit out of the mines <laughs> so you'll just start hearing <laughs> yeah, you go, uh. oh. <laughs> do the poison poison concertina um combo draft, draft combo. yeah and you could pretty much defend any of the things because of how vertical and how open the shit is. You yeah. can see everybody in front of you if you're, so, if you're facing outwards. So I think overall the map is it's cool. It needs maybe some some a balance balances maybe um, because some it's optimization a little, optimization mm -hmm. it's a little overpowered. Mm -hmm. Well, optimization I think might be the entire game right now with the new engine. Like you know what I mean? Like. The game, because like stuff, stuff wasn't always like I would I would switch to um, a hatchet, and you know how the when you switch to hatchet, it goes like that, and you grab it, it would just go, it just goes like this, and my hands empty, and then it just appears. Yeah, and then it loads <laughs> in. Yep, that's what I noticed. I had I had switched my my arrow, and when the arrow switched the other arrow, I was just holding my my bow back with no arrow in it, and, and for like a second or two before the arrow appeared. Yeah, that, when I died at that uh, near that mine, you were you took your bow out, and I was like, "Hey, you're running without a bow," and then it popped in. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's not, it's not a good fucking. So I, I think, I, and 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 that coupled with um, my favorite bug, the map crash bug. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yesterday was fucking hilariously fun. Yeah, it it crashed all of our games. Like it was like oh, let me both check Sal and I. Yeah. yeah, let me check the bounty. Oh, I crashed. Fuck. Both Sal and I crashed damn near the same time. And Eddie was when like, you guys crashed. Okay. Out, yeah, when I I just went to the map just to see if I would crash, and sure enough. Yeah, but then he said he was like, "Fuck." <laughs> but somehow that was that was the game where somehow we managed to get get. You, you had to end task your game, by the way, when it crashed because it was just stuck. Sal, beyond that, had to also stop it on Steam. And then yep. when we had to boot back up and then get restored back into the game. And when we finally got back into the game, there were the bounty holders were fighting at the extra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we decided we just to go third party. engage him because we were right there. And 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 they didn't see us. That was very but that that that's how crazy it is. An entire trio disconnected, really close, like with within sniping distance of the um the exit of the extract and there was a showdown going down at the extract with the bounty carriers and nobody saw us and so then when we came in we joined it we killed a couple of them you know we, i think one of us got down once or twice and then we had to fight that solo for an hour because mm -hmm. fucking because he was bushwalking it was jittery dude when i would shoot him there i don't know if it's if it's a feature or if it's a bug but it seemed every time i shot my whole screen would like fucking shift like I was shooting one like a aftomat, and oh, I was I was yeah like fucking all over the place, and I was just using a Schofield. That those yeah. were some of the most steady fucking guns before this. This maybe uh, they patch. just changed the handling on those guns. I don't know. Um, fuck, I don't I know, but it it maybe felt it felt once. it felt like I was shooting an uppercut. That's what it felt like. Huh. With yeah, the they might fucking, have adjusted with the huge stuff. fucking kick and shit, and I was like, what? Yeah. Why is it shooting like Weird. this? um but yeah the map crash bug was great and also too i was getting um i haven't seen it as much today but yesterday definitely like my entire you know how um it's hard to ex basically my entire screen would turn white completely white i'm not talking about like a filter i'm like i'm talking about you can't see anything it's just a white screen i don't see for color. like a millisecond you know what i mean like a, it would mm -hmm. just flash like that flicker. was happening a, a flicker yeah, i was just having flicker um all over the fucking place dude especially loading in and um yeah i think it's safe i think safe to say we all agree that they released this way too early broken yeah. as fuck i broken. i turned everything down to low turned on super sampling to performance which is supposed to also lower the the mm -hmm. textures as well and the, the textures were still not loading in <laughs> They were they're set on low and it well, no, like, I think it looked, I think performance is the opposite. When you set it to performance, yeah, it makes it's the gonna not load the textures. It well no, it's, it's it makes the it um downgrades the textures uh, quality. So if it's on mm. two forty, it downloads it, it makes it ten eighty p or lower and then upscales it mm. to make it look slightly better, which is what the DLSS uh, does. It makes everything load at a lower quality and then upscales it, which makes it supposedly makes shit run better if you put it on performance. Yeah, I I turned it on and then I had the map crash bug, so I just attributed it to that. But obviously that wasn't the case. Yeah. So after that, so all the that. textures looked like they were on N64 models. <laughs> <laughs> like you eventually, like, eventually they they loaded dinch, back dinch, in. Eventually they loaded dinch, back in and they looked normal. Dinch, dinch. Mm -hmm. But for a long time, it was they weren't loading. Exactly, it looked it looked it looked like they just painted it on there. It wasn't modeled at all. It's fucking golden eye graphics. On low, you got nostalgia hard. Yeah, I was like, give me the golden gun so I can just get a single shot or switch to perfect dark, and then you can get the far sight. Far sight. Fuck, dude, it was it was not. It was not a good experience. Yeah, no, we're they're probably we're probably the the uh, game testers for them. Yeah, the that's the thing works, that's so it doesn't. releasing broken and 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 so to the point of that, like I know on our last episode we kind of ripped apart um, Seven Days to Die's uh, 1.0 release. Mm -hmm. Still mm -hmm. less buggy, way less buggy than this. Mm -hmm. I know they've had a lot longer, and there yeah. still were some bugs and stuff, and you know some things that weren't agreeable or whatever but like i know we tore it apart we were very critical of it but they still like 
they released what you know much more yeah. complete i should have i should have broken game. i should have recorded that cursor bug so <laughs> it was a normal on on, on the fight screen and shit i see the reticle and then there was a red cursor just going across <laughs> as i was looking around and shit that shit was so distracting <laughs> shit, You're like, man. probably a feature dude <sighs> dude dude so and we haven't even hit the biggest fucking crap no best so but then so the next thing and that's what we're going to talk about next and it it's not a bug it's not um uh I mean, it is a feature, I guess, technically, but that is the new UI. The new UI is... It's garbage. Fucking hot garbage, dude. It's it, not, not good at all, dude. It's not good at all. No one should get fired. It takes this, so many is, fucking screens just to play the game, dude, just to just hit. To get, just to equip one gun. <laughs> And, and then and all with the, the proper skin. Yeah, all the prompts. Are you sure you want to do this? It's like, dude, I'm not trying to cancel Netflix. You just fucking <laughs> equip it. <laughs> yeah, you can turn that off, right? Because I don't. Yeah, think you I can turn that yeah, off. Yeah, probably turn it off. But it's but why? Why was like... that even a thing? <laughs> like, who cares? So, like, you know, before <laughs> before when you would uh when you would go into your loadouts and then you hit back, you'd immediately be in the in the hunt where you see all the other the other yeah. two guys that are in your team. This one. You have to go back when you back out. You have to click, uh, pick that. Uh, what was it for the team play? Uh, where it's solo, and then there's oh, the solo player. trio duo. The lobby. Yeah, the lobby. You have oh, to yeah, click on it again so you mm -hmm. can actually see the people again. And then if yeah. somebody fucking joins while you're doing your loadout, it'll kick you the back out to that fucking screen. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. I didn't know that. That's, it happened, that's... It happened a couple of times. Like um, Eddie hadn't hadn't gotten in to the game yet, and I was setting up my loadout. And when he joined, it just kicked me out to the the trio lobby. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. So and then, and then in, in, as well as in matches, when I would well. get back, and then you guys loaded back in, I was in the middle of adding my my shit. It'll kick me back out to the trio lobby. I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" So that's that's super annoying, right? And a couple of things to note about the, the lobby now is you can't see your loadout at all. I don't know what bright idea idiot fucking came up with it. Like I, when I'm waiting to go into a game, I want to be able to see what I'm bringing with me because mm -hmm. maybe I forgot something or yep. maybe I want to change my mind. Maybe mm -hmm. I saw that my, my quest was for a different gun and I'm like, fuck, I want to change it. Because I don't have that gun, but I don't know that because I can't fucking see it. I mean, you can kind of see the guns, you know, you know, on your person. Um, but if you're not an experienced player, you may not know what every gun looks like. Um, which I mean, we are. We know what all the guns look like. But but I can't. You can't see your your um, <clears throat> your consumables or your what's what are they called tools? Mm -hmm. uh, and those those can be very important. Those can make or break a game. Like you need fucking and, and then of course there's some specific ones you know like like when you need to kill a smoker with um smoke <laughs> kill an emulator with smoke um and if you forgot smoke then you just you're shit out of luck for that match or whatever um does smoke hurt the 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 main boss guy or not main yeah boss, but yeah it, it, it hits him it hits him like poison or fire it'll oh, take man, him down I, slowly it that. does fucking hardly any damage it's, it's oh. not worth it it's, you can well, you can do it to like um like uh when I, when i was watching people fight them they throw a, a smoke out a, or a choke uh choke bolt or anything and then when they get caught on fire they'll run into it and immediately oh, put yeah, themselves that's not out idea to say yeah but one, as a, for the boss it's not worth it you know, for one of the so um talking about the ui and and the the new screen there, there's just a bunch of like extra clutter and stuff that doesn't need to be there um and that it just feels overwhelming and you don't know where anything is like it, it is not like oh they moved a button over here no it, it's the like two screens that you would use before are now like 20 and i'm barely exaggerating um and but the biggest the biggest gripe that i had was equipping your hunter all right, equipping a hunter 
if you don't have loadouts, and by the way, if you're prestiging constantly, loadouts are really annoying unless you are only using specific weapons throughout every prestige. But I, I like to play with different guns. I like to do the quest, the, the missions and stuff, and they require different weapons. And sometimes, you know, I feel like a nut and sometimes I don't. Um, and so now if you complete, like if, you, if you, a hunter from scratch equipping them takes easily two three times as long um and that's mm -hmm. because you're on a separate screen where you got here's your empty slots when you click on uh your main slot for a weapon it goes to a different screen <laughs> and then shows you all the weapons that are available okay there are two problems with that one it's an extra click that you didn't need two now i don't know what i have equipped <laughs> because <laughs> i can't see it like like I, I i know young people may not have memory problems but it's even less about memory problems because you might be strategizing and thinking about stuff you have to keep going back to know what you have and then come to the consumables if you want three or four of the same thing and it's at the bottom of the list of things uh then that means you got to click on it it goes to the other screen scroll down Double click on it, click on the next one, uh, scroll, go to the next screen, scroll down, double click on it, right? And do that four times. And people are like, well, but there's also a, fa a favorites, right? Yeah, I can put that out of my favorites so I don't have to scroll down. But guess what? Every fucking time I go to that screen, I got to click click the favorite yeah. star icon to fucking turn it on, the filter. That's still another fucking click. Like, it's so Every step is a screen. And then when Every you're done, you got to go back you got to click out to the lobby in order to click your you know the ready to play button the ready up yeah you get, yeah that's a, yeah that's the other thing too right yeah but yeah, so so you hit escape and then it kicks you out to click on uh hunt or solo hunt you have to click on the hunt thing to bring up your your team again and then yeah. you have to hit f to ready up <clears throat> yeah or you can click the button in the bottom left corner <laughs> and then uh and then the space bar to to remove fucking ammo that's so <laughs> stupid like you don't want to use oh well i don't want to use the the special ammo this round so how do i remove it oh well you gotta hit either right click on it unequip slot yeah before you could okay. just double click it, it would go away you unequip slot which I thought was like, oh, well, I have to unequip the weapon. No, it yeah. just unequips the fucking shit. But I have to right slot. click it. I have to right click it. <laughs> yeah. And go like down the slot. Bunch of extra clicks and scrolls and all. And then if I want to change ammo again, I got to click on the fucking ammo. It brings up another fucking screen. Screen. And yep. then I got to decide what fucking that's ammo right. I want. It does it for the ammo too. God, that's so like, so like you, after you've already done all that too, if you want special ammo, then you got to do it again. And then if, like you said, if you got the wrong one or if you decided to change it or if it's one of those guns that can hold two different ones, you got to do that twice. Mm -hmm. It's why? Why would you do this? So um, I think it was I was talking to Subly and she said she pointed out that it's it's like similar to the COD UI. No, um, I don't, it's not. COD UI yeah. is so fucking intuitive. Dude. You can set up your fucking loadout in like two seconds and you're yeah. good to go. Okay. I, I, I don't play COD, so I wouldn't know um but anyways the uh like i i heard that it's optimized for console i don't even uh, next time we play i'm gonna try using my fucking controller and see how fucking quickly i can set up a uh I, yeah a it would still take shit. fucking forever i don't see like like that that was that was the I think that's what I was harping on when it first came out and first talking about it. I was like, what the fuck was it? And I think somebody said you or some or any someone said it was mm -hmm. it was optimized for console. And I was like, and you guys, I don't think you had played it yet, but I've been playing it and I was complaining about it to you guys. How terrible it was. <laughs> I said, this shit's so bad. Sal's going to think it's good. Um, <laughs> just to be contrarian. But um, it is absolute horse pucky. I mean, and there's the, but wait, there's yes. more. There's still more things that are wrong with it. One another thing that I think is it it like they changed the, the mechanics, which I like, and that is it seems like you always have four free hunters available between matches. Um but where are they? Because when you go 
and click on change hunter it goes straight to that screen where it says shows all the different hunters that you can purchase but there's no option for free hunters there's no buttons for free hunters what you have to do is from that screen so it's it's, it's if you're looking at if you're looking at like a, a a diagram of how this works right it's like here's the main screen here's the the pick what the screen where i want to pick either all hunters or free hunters and then here's the um the screen where it's like all hunters and here's the screen with free hunters and what it does is when you click on change my hunter or recruit hunter it goes straight to the all hunters one and skips over the selection screen between all and free so you never see that you have free hunters if you from from the the all hunter screen hit escape it goes back one screen to a screen you've never been to before where you can click all hunters or free hunters and when you click on free hunters then you can uh get a, a free hunter uh from there and and there's four available they have like predetermined loadouts now it's like and which is fine it's free hunter i i'm, I'm not gonna argue that but they're fucking hiding them dude like like they're not yeah. <laughs> anywhere to be found like if you're not paying attention you're not gonna you're just, you're just gonna be like there aren't any free hunters but they also too did something weird they called rookie hunters like when you first started um i don't know i don't know how that works because i prestiged almost immediately and lost all of my rookie hunters um but like they i think like that they, they gave us a bunch of rookie hunters with the um the upgrade but sal I, I don't need someone else outside this to confirm this, but I felt like I got a thousand blood bonds just because just for logging in. And so did Eddie. Like like we just we had we had an extra thousand blood bonds. So I spent that on the battle pass. But Sal didn't get a thousand blood bonds. I got dick purpose. I got I got a <laughs> a lubeless butt fuck. <laughs> like there was no... Nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Like what the I'm fuck? Like, okay, well, because and and so I between, guess I'm chopped liver. Yeah, between the three of us, I would say I play the most. Sal plays, uh, a lot less, but he plays more than Eddie does. Mm -hmm. And so there's not any correlation there. And and I don't think either of you guys have purchased any DLC, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, I have like a few DLCs from the, like past that I purchased. Um, so it's not a difference there. Like, what? What was it? Just random, or like, does it? You know, it was a feature. It's probably a bug. But there was also no. I don't think there was any announcement of it either, right? I just had I a thousand extra. Like, I, I didn't see anything say, "Here's a thousand blood bonds." I didn't see that anywhere. But they're also really terrible at communicating. Like, how maybe it was a bug. Words. But they're gonna take all your all your blood bonds in the next yeah, patch. Like, <laughs> sorry guys, back. they're gonna take them back. Sorry. They're going to pull a fucking IRS. And another fucking thing that fucking was annoying is getting back your health. Mm -hmm. Your health pool. So before, it used to have a little plus sign on Ouch. the side where you just click on it and you get your health back. Yeah. You're missing segments. Now you click on it. Pops up another fucking screen. And you can decide to add like segments, large segments, small segments, or, or uh, take one back. Mind you, this all costs... This all costs... Um, uh, One, trait points, point. trait points. points. Yeah, that's how it was before, though. That's yeah. the same. And then you have to confirm. And then you have to confirm. Okay, you yeah. can't hit escape or nothing. You it's have like, to confirm. It's it's an extra screen and like two extra clicks or three extra clicks. Yeah, so, so I mean, uh, it gives you more more uh, flexibility on how you want your bar set up, right? But it's an extra screen you gotta push. And then on top of everything. You can click on the on the bar and then get to that second screen, but there's a trait thing right next to it that you can't fucking click on it. Okay, so you either have to go up to the top of the fucking thing and click <laughs> traits so you can start choosing traits, or you have to hit space bar, scrolled all the way down to fucking traits to open up the trait screen. That's how many fucking clicks already just to get to the fucking traits. It's a lot. On the on the previous thing, there was a trait bar when you were doing your loadouts, and you click on the little plus sign, and you add a fucking yep. trait. That's it. It was all in mm -hmm. one place. Why? 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 Why would anybody, like, what idiot thought this was a good idea? I'm genuinely asking Crytek, like, 
there's there's not there's there's like there's no reason for it, right? It's not like they're throwing pop up ads in between each screen. Like there, there's no there's no return on ROI for this. All this does is make the game harder to play, harder to load your shit up. Like there's there's no nothing good about it. You know, it's it's not even like or not. I mean, for them, like there's nothing good for them. Like there's no like extra selling of skins mm -hmm. or or like uh, they're not like pushing you to purchase blood bonds or anything like that like more so like there's not there's no return on investment at all for the company right like there's there's nothing good that could come of this for them so i and it and i don't understand how they sold this to like like who what came who came up with this idea and sold it to everybody who and said okay we should make shit. it take, i want to know who okay yeah, this shit and they need okay to be fired yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly I'd like person. to see the data of the amount of console players that play Hunt. Well, but also, also too. Well, no, this is a relaunch. Not... It's a relaunch. There wasn't a big. There was not a big uh, community. Then there's no reason for them to actually do it. There's it just well, make... no, there's no. But but here's the thing, that's that's if the whole purpose of it was making it easier for people to use on console. But here's the thing, I'm almost certain that adding. 20 extra screens for everything doesn't make it easier to work on a console. Mm -hmm. Still going to take the same mm -hmm. amount of time. Making it more accessible on the screen, you know, like um it, it's like when I work with websites, right? You can um you you can if if a, if a website is properly um uh American Disabilities ADA compliant, you can tab through, you can use arrow keys, you know, um to to navigate on a website, right? Um, and that's the kind of shit that they should have been doing, like making, you know, making the select, like I hate on consoles when they make you use a cursor, you know, to like, oh, yeah, the, yep. yeah. like, no, it should be like, you know, click this way, click that way. Or like, if, if I click on this button, it puts me over here and I can choose stuff there. You know what I mean? That's the kind of interactivity that they should be focusing on, not making 20 extra screens, because mm -hmm. I would argue, even though I haven't tried it. But Sal, I, I mean, I could try it too. Actually, I can just plug in my c controller and 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 mess with the the UI, see if it's any faster with a controller. But I don't think it's going to be because it's going to take more time. Because then you have you have to, unless it works differently, you have to you know, or it's a cursor. Like if it's a cursor still, that's horrific. Yeah, what's yeah. The point? <laughs> that's ten times worse for console players. Then. Most most games that do something similar. It would be um, to get to your, say, the traits one. You hit R2, and it brings yeah. up your trait list. Or say you want to get to your loadouts, you hit R1, and it'll bring up your loadouts. And then you scroll through, click on it, click the other gun, and then and then it asks you, you know, what ammo do you want to equip for this weapon? And then it brings up the ammo menu, and you click on it. And that's it. And then you back out. And then you go down to the next one. You click on it, click your ammo, hit back. You keep going. You can keep working your way down with the controller. Mm -hmm. But in this one, there I don't think there's anything similar to that. It's like you probably have to um, scroll over it. Either way, and it'll probably put a white box around the thing, and then yeah. E either way, we are it's... not like the people that are playing on PC are using mouse and keyboard. Mm -hmm. No one's using a controller on PC. Yeah. Nope. Nobody. And uh, on. On a, and, and it's not a crossplay game, and, and nope, FPS it should never be a crossplay game unless they're like you know not PvP and they're MMO or something. Mm -hmm. But like they shouldn't they shouldn't be crossplay because that's the PC has an unfair advantage always. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I I don't yep. understand and and like like Sal said to the point earlier, it sounded like they didn't really have a huge like place or uh, console um, fan base, right? Mm -hmm. they, they don't have a huge console fan base um so why and again optimize it for console separately don't make mm -hmm. us don't make the the pc players your core fucking audience don't fuck with our shit yeah well i mean just making shit clickable with your fucking mouse instead of having to scroll Go through to a bunch of screen. shit yeah that's the very fucking least they could do to improve it like tremendously just let me let me click on the traits and bring or, up the traits. Or I like I like what somebody um su suggested like just like 
just turn on the old UI. <laughs> you know, just have <laughs> just have a you can turn have it on a UI off. switch, right? <laughs> just allow us a UI no, switch. Those and games then, and do you, that. Everybody would switch back to the original. No one would be unless they didn't know there was a switch. But that's the thing too. Yeah. They're gonna hide it like inside the settings in some fucking obscure place that won't make sense. Yeah, some um, games do that. They they give the option of choosing either a console UI or a PC. Yeah, that too. Like you can you can because like if you're using a if you're on a PC and for some reason want to use a controller, may, maybe maybe uh, you can't use a mouse and keyboard mm -hmm. because you have carpal tunnel or something like that, right? Like give the option of switching to it. But it is it, it is. It sounds. It, I just don't understand. The, the it's asinine, it. dude. It's it, asinine. It doesn't make Your any UI sense. Is asinine. It's just bad design. It's terrible. It's horrible design. It's just, it's 10, 20 steps backwards. It's not, it was not an improvement at all. And it was no, worse it than a downgrade. Um, I'm sure they'll fix it at some point. Oh, and the other thing <laughs> that, that people too. That they're going to make it worse. Planning. They're going to make is, it worse. This is, yeah, they're going to make it worse. That, that pisses because instead of, instead of, bringing back the old UI and like messing with it, they're just going to fucking try to make it this one better, which is going to be stupid. <laughs> it's, it probably has something to do with development and how they made the projects or whatever. Maybe. Um, but that, that being said, there's another gripe that I have, and that is I can't see my teammates characters names. That greatly disappoints me. <laughs> yeah. I like seeing since... all the really dick, ridiculous uh, yeah. character names. Yep. You can't even see your own character's name. Just yeah. your name pops up at the top. No, it doesn't. It um, if you scroll over your guy, it says it on the bottom. Oh, on the bottom. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe it'll it say it'll say rookie, and then the dude's name. Does it work for your, the other guys? Yeah, as well. Oh, okay, no. but yep. what? Why? Why? Why can't you just have it? In yeah, text dude, I like, I like seeing. Is like, why? Okay. Why do you need an extra fucking scroll over bullshit? Eddie's character is named Lord Longbottom. Yeah, so with the, with the names are ridiculous, and I like the names. And I, I you know, having it's, to it's adding like, a, so it's still there, but they they just added another fucking. It's instead of a uh, a separate screen, it's like a pop up. You, you know what it feels like? It feels like they got the lady who did the break dancing from Australia. <laughs> they designed the UI for this. <laughs> the, the the person that 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 it, what what's it called? Um, where it's like you you. Um, you lied on your resume, but you got still got the job. <laughs> <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Yeah, they they lied on their resume about being good at UI. Yeah, and, she's. And then everybody at the company agreed that it was good. Mm, <laughs> nepotism, maybe. Maybe it's nepotism. Maybe. Somebody has somebody some dirt on somebody in that company. Oh, or black. And that's why that UI got approved. <laughs> it's 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 best. It's like uh, you're sleeping with my wife if you didn't approve this. And uh... like, if a brand new player came into that, I think it would turn them off to the game. Yeah, but we know yeah. what the rest of the gameplay is like, and we're fans of the game, and we like playing the game, arguably. And if, so, honestly, if they were gonna do something similar, they should have just copied COD outright. Just everything that you do in COD, you you can do in 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 Hunt. Well, yeah, yeah like one, of, like so one of the things you said where it was like how how you could just pick like the gun. There's one gun, and then you can pick whatever skin you want and, and, and your ammo and everything is like in one mm -hmm. unit. Yeah. Yep, you can add you a know, scope. The opposite of that, dude. It's like everything's in one place. Now let's put everything everywhere. So you yeah. have to click to go here, click to go Step there, screen. Back this way, that way, this way. And the free hunters, we got, we're giving you four free hunters now, but good luck finding them. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I did. Uh, I was hopeful and then it just, well, I wasn't really hopeful. I knew it was going to suck. <laughs> it wasn't really hopeful. Dude, I called yeah, it. I, knew, I, I didn't knew expect the UI to be that I told you bad. it was going to be a bigger bug. Yeah, when they, when they, when they, they started the showing yeah, the Yeah, you did, but the bugs, but this isn't a bug. We're not talking about bugs right now. Oh, yeah, We're well, talking about the UI. This is a yeah. design change, and it, it was, was, it was a very this, bad idea. It was a little bad, though, that a lot of the streamers were, like, saying, well, you know, it might be okay. Like, come on, dude. You just... They're getting they were, they were They were hoping they were going to get early access and shit, and they didn't want to talk crap on it. Or that. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, it's kind of bamboozled a lot of people that 
probably didn't purchase hadn't purchased the game and were like oh shit it looks looks pretty awesome and then they buy it and they're like oh fuck yeah Hopefully. that's the other thing too like the 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 i've never seen a game go through a a, a a full release game go through so many different and such different UI changes, like evolutions. Like it's it has changed a lot. This and was a also, devolution, though. It wasn't. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Evolving de- means de- it gets devolved. better, right? But um, it it uh, uh, is you, you know how when you died on the screen, they again had everything conveniently in one place where you got the little running tally, you got who killed you, and then you got the the, the running thing that says like you got shot in the head and this, this is how much damage, damage yep. this is how much you hit them for mm-hmm. and you hit him in the arm this is the you know and it tells you the and all that stuff right all on one screen now you gotta i don't even remember it was like i didn't it, see it an option for it i well, didn't it, see an option for it in game but on the summary afterwards you could click on the 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 thing and then it shows what cards and and damage whatever and that's it's and then and you click on one of them and then it's another fucking oh it's a whole separate screen i don't need the entire goddamn screen to look at that and that those parts i i can kind of see like it's like maybe it's meant for someone who's on a console who's far away from a tv or something but mm-hmm. it's still well here's the thing what they could have done is just left the the damage summary on the side and then you yeah. just hit you hit R one or R or L um, L one to scroll through it. It's like oh, okay, yeah. so I hit him in the head, and then move your back way back up. It's like okay, so he hit me there, <laughs> and it would have been totally fine. But they got rid of that shit, and then they put in a stupid screen where hey, look at the weapon. You could spin it around. It's great. Also, I don't now care about that. Your MMR is completely hidden across the board and let the only place you can see your mmr is after a match in oh, the game summary in the, yeah. in the game summary Jeez. and that's that's pretty stupid too because if i it like again i want it, it's one of those things like i like to see my loadout i like to see my mmr because i know whether i'm going to get butt raped or not right if my mmr went back up to fucking four or two of our mmrs went up to four we know we're gonna get banged down uh you know the next match because we don't want to be sweaty um so it's still a little harder to monitor and it's kind of annoying and also that screen is terrible like it, when you look it's at the lifeless. summary yeah it's lifeless now it's <laughs> well, not not just that again so it's like i feel like every window on every screen they extracted and made it its own screen right um so before you would have a little thing along the side on that screen that said um, your team's name, your MMR, all that stuff, and then you would scroll through on the right with, with to show all the other teams. Now it's just all the it's one. It's just that one on the right is all there, and it's so fucking zoomed in, dude. Like before, you could see like more than half of the teams, and then you could just scroll down a little bit and see the rest. But now it's like you're looking at through a window like this because it's it's zoomed in. So it's like I can see like one team, and then I can scroll see the next team, scroll see the next team. Like it's, mm-hmm. I, it, it, it's, it's like made for old people's eyes, or something. <laughs> um, and again, I, I guess that could that could be a console optimization. Like if you're sitting really far away from a TV, mm-hmm. uh, but also get good because I have a 120 inch 4K. <laughs> <laughs> but like no one, no one plays this. No one plays this on console. And if you are, you shouldn't yeah. be. Because you contributed now. Now I'm going to blame the console like, yeah. players. You contributed <laughs> to this bullshit. No, I don't. I don't blame anybody, but whoever the fuck did this shit at Crytek, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't. And that's what grinds our gears. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not in a good state right now. It, it really isn't. No, it's in. It's in. A, it, like... it don't like. If you were planning to start playing Hunt right now, wait. And if yeah, you wait, are wait at back, least one wait. or two patches because it's it's, it's like very the, it's very unstable right those now. Those fucking it's crossing the the ADA compliant crossing <clears throat> crossing <laughs> things. You click on it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and then it, and then it says walk. Yep, walk or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like much. that's it. Like just fucking wait, dude. Don't waste your time. Is there anything else you guys have to contribute? You think to Hunt Showdown eighteen ninety six? 
Mm. No, I think we pretty much covered all the bad stuff. Yeah. There's too oh, many is there bugs. any more good stuff? Oh, really? They fixed the scopes because Eddie's can shit. Oh, barely shit Eddie. Yeah. yeah dude, Although I, I, I don't like it. It's that still, they yeah, it's still blinded. jarring. It's still jarring they, the, the they, way it works now. Yeah. They gave the scopes complete tunnel vision. So, like before, you would see like a He's, zoom yeah, in, uh, like blurry peripheral the, vision. Yeah. The, fi the fish, the fish eye, um, on the lens it's it's a little disconcerting but now, when you first when you first now use it. they completely black out everything like there's you can't see anything at all which doesn't really make except for like your teammates outlines i think mm -hmm. but it doesn't really make sense because um anybody who's ever used a scope in real life if you put the scope that close to your face you're gonna have a you're problem gonna, you're gonna pull pop the your eye oh. <laughs> you're gonna pop your eye you know, you're gonna have a black eye at worst and at best you're gonna um uh scope yourself right here i scoped myself once and I, I wasn't even up against it i was it it was a little it was just a little too close right um so yeah that seems unrealistic but apparently mm -hmm. for eddie it works man eddie, eddie was, was fucking murdering heads people, dude the scopes <laughs> but uh yeah already i think uh <laughs> oh that's my other complaint i haven't heard no <laughs> at all I don't think right. it's in that there. That should no be more. the first song. That's the first thing that, that should, should always up. pop up. It's yeah. like it's the Port Sulphur band. Um, uh, it's called it's called like uh, Rise Up Dead Man. It's called Rise Up Dead Man, or the humming song. That's the theme <laughs> song. It's the best. I may have a lot of good stuff, but like I feel like the the music wasn't quite there mm -hmm. this time around. Um, so that's not cool. Don't do that. Anyways, Crytek, fix your shit. Get your shit together. And uh, maybe we'll still play the game. Alrighty. Good night, you motherfucking nerds. Peace. Thank you so much to all the nerds that listened. You can find us at strengthengaming.com or email us at info at strcast.com.